Hey, we are throwing it back to the 80s with a concert benefiting Brady's Children's Hospital. Four iconic music acts of the 1980s, which is vintage to some of you watching right now, I'm sure. We'll be on stage inside Petco Park as part of the Bowl Week festivities for the annual Holiday Bowl. So with me now is the CEO of the Bowl, Mr. Mark Neville. Thanks for being here. Yes, Mark Neville, a, a, a child of the 80s, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Very fitting with the acts that we have. I love your red jacket there. Very fancy. It is the uh, the uniform for December. Okay, tell me all about this. I'm, I love the 80s. I'm very excited. I was born in the mid 80s. Uh, so this is a music fest that's happening December 27th. Yep, right down in Petco Park, all part of uh, the San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl festivities. Uh, on the 27th, so the day before the game, it's the Snapdragon Bowl Bash and Concert, and it's benefiting Rady Children's Hospital. Uh, down in the Gaslamp Quarter, it all gets started. The, uh, the university marching bands from NC State and UCLA will be performing at the corner of 5th and Market. That's at 5 o'clock. We have some of the streets shut down. Um, after that, there's a couple live sta or stages where there'll be live music, and there's other games and activities, and you can take a picture with the that trophy right over my shoulder here uh, and have a great time. And that's all free, um, and it's a great chance also to go out and, and, and eat in the great restaurants down in the Gas Lamp Quarter in East Village. And then uh, right at about 5.45 or so as the first act goes on, the gates open at 5 at Petco Park, Gallagher Square. Uh, and we have Taylor Dane will be getting things started, then Missing Persons, uh, followed by the English Beat, and uh, A Flock of Seagulls will be wrapping, wrapping things up. It's a little over three hours worth of music uh, down at Petco Park. Tickets are still available. You can go to HolidayBowl.com and uh, click on the uh, Snapdragon Bull Bash uh, icon and, and you can get your tickets there. Uh, the We have uh, seats that are available, though I believe those might even be sold out. And we have general admission uh, tickets that are also available. And again, $5 from every ticket sold goes right back to Rady Children's Hospital, San Diego. <laughs> Mr. Neville, tell me your favorite Flock of Seagulls song. <laughs> uh, I will have to go with Wishing okay. or um, you know, I ran is kind of the popular one. You know, I've been singing that one a lot lately. You have. Uh, you know, my first concert I ever went to when I was 13 years old was a, was Missing Persons oh. uh, at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. And uh, and then, you know, I got it. I really got into the English beat probably in my college days. Do you uh, want to sing anything for us tonight? I have been known to sing a lot. Uh, but why don't I go with a little Missing Persons hit? Does that be all right? Oh, yeah. All right, Let's here we go. Okay, okay. Walking in L.A. Yeah. Walking in LA. Yes. I'll leave the rest of it yes. for, uh, for December 27th. So wow. get those tickets. They are available. There's something for everybody. And go to the game the next day. Spend a couple nights down downtown. Get a hotel room. Go to uh, the Snapdragon Bull Bash and concert on the 27th. Go to the parade, the Port of San Diego Holiday Bowl Parade, America's largest balloon parade on game day, December 28th, right on Harbor Drive. And then walk on back over to the Gaslamp <laughs> Quarter, East Village, and, and go to the game at Petco Park. Who needs to go see the see them in concert? We have you, buddy. That was a great. Yeah, concert. my my phone has not been ringing uh, from my singing talents. That's for sure. Wait, is this is Taylor Dane? Is it "Tell It to My Heart"? Is that the one that goes "Tell It to My Heart"? Yes. Tell me I'm the, uh, okay, you and I need to start a duet. Like, let's get together. We'll do this. It'll be yeah. great. Yeah, maybe on be... stage down there. <laughs> maybe we can open for all these people. Right. Uh, by the way, in in uh, during the concert, the marching bands are going to be marching through as well. So that'll be uh, oh. super fun. And I'm reading here that fans are encouraged to dress in their best 80s attire. So bring out the scrunchies and the snap bracelets. And how about the feathered hair? Which oh. I'm going to have. I'm going to struggle with that one, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or the crimper. I used to crimp my hair. That was so bad for your hair. I actually did that too, and put a little sun in on there to, to, to make it, you know, a little blonder. Mr. Neville, I used a whole bottle of sun in once, and then came to school and had orange hair, and then lied to everyone and said oh, I just laid out in the sun, and then naturally it just became orange. I think we all did that at some point. <laughs> all right, we're I wish I could do that again. I, that, that ship has sailed. Well, you got a little patch up there you can put some sun in on. I don't even know yeah, if they make it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Neville, CEO of the Holiday Bowl. Where can people go for those last-minute tickets and uh, more information? Thank you very much. Go to HolidayBowl.com. It's all there. they got the parade, the game, the 5K run, the National Funding 5K, and, of course, the Snapdragon Bowl Bash and Concert benefiting Rady Children's Hospital. We want everyone in San Diego to join in the fun, join in the celebration. It is San Diego's biggest holiday party. 
a fun concert for a good cause. And thank you, dear sir, for performing us, uh, performing for us this evening. I appreciate oh. it. And you too. Thanks. <laughs> you are very welcome, Mr. Neville. All right. Well, a local company is giving back to the community now in its 10th year of feeding those in need. So this year, hundreds of military veterans and local families who may not have anywhere to go on Christmas will be treated like VIPs at Feast and Fairway in Coronado. So with me now is Johan Engman, owner and founder of Rise and Shine Restaurant Group. Thanks for being here with us. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Are you just in a drive-thru right now? Are you chilling in your car? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually was running late, so I'm taking this thing in my car. I pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you making time for us. Please, um, 10 years now you guys are doing this, and you're serving more than 600 Christmas dinners. Is that right? Yeah, we actually have 636 Ooh. RSVPs for, uh, for this year, and it seems like it grows every year, and it's in our opinion of what the holiday spirit really is about by giving back and and uh, we, we love it and uh, it's just an awesome feel-good event that we put on and how did this all come about well it started with i i travel quite a bit and it, sort of me getting kind of frustrated coming back and seeing veterans being you know just ousted and on the streets and i said you know instead of complaining let me try to do something positive so i started this veterans dinner uh, 10 years ago, and it just grew slowly into more than veterans, just people who don't have the means to have a nice Christmas dinner. And we started this toy drive. So every kid that comes gets a toy. Uh, and it, it's just it's just awesome. And everybody is so thankful. And my entire team and staff volunteers their time, and we love it. It's amazing to see the progress, because if I have this correct, 2011 you kind of started and that's when you fed about 80 families in Hillcrest and now you've jumped from that 80 to as you said 636. Yeah it's grown every year and I anticipate it will continue growing and it's one of these things that we want to just keep keep you know doing because there's always a need there seems to be a actually a growing need every year so we certainly don't anticipate this thing ending anytime soon. So tell us the specifics of this year. It's happening at Feast and Fairway in Coronado, correct? Yeah, so it's our restaurant on the Coronado Golf Course, 2000 uh, Visalia Row. Um, we are fully subscribed in terms of guests, but um, if anybody wants to help, you could drop off a unwrapped gift at the restaurant and we will make sure that it gets to a person who really needs and wants it. Oh, see, that's nice. Okay, so that's good to know. And then if people are watching and want to help, maybe potentially for next year, can they do that? Yeah, our website is riseandshinerg.com, and you can send a message through there. We get a lot of people wanting to volunteer their time, so we kind of get oversubscribed in terms of volunteers too. But if you want to participate next year, by all means, shoot us an email and we'll put you on the list because it's, you know, as a I volunteer my time too, obviously, and it's just such a great feeling when you leave there knowing that you just made a lot of people happy and it's it's something we really enjoy doing. That's a good problem to have, too many volunteers, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Leave it to San Diego to have that issue, I love it. And I hear that, you know, with these dinners throughout many of the years, you've had some special guests show up as well, is that correct? Yeah, we have sometimes politicians. I know for, I know this year, uh, Richard Bailey, who's the mayor of Coronado, is going to stop by. I think a few other politicians might stop by. Uh, and that's not really us necessarily reaching out that much. That's them stopping into the restaurant and hearing about it, saying, hey, I'd love to come by. Um, I, I believe the San Diego city attorney is coming. She's going to volunteer her time uh, and just uh, be, you know, be part of the uh, restaurant for the day, so to speak. So that, that happens every year where people show up and we welcome them with open arms. And uh, Mayor Bailey's got a, quite the festive Christmas suit, I hope, so hopefully he wears that to the dinner. Uh, Johan Engman, Rise and Shine, RG.com. You guys are doing such a great thing, and I can't wait uh, when we're reporting on year 11, where it'll be more than 636 that you're feeding. Exactly. Thank exactly. you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. You too.